Okay, let's talk about the three different types of skills that we'll be focusing on. Let me just double check that. Um, sorry, the, the two things that we'll be talking about for, for this um, part of the, of the, the module two, the, the, the second part. So we'll be first talking about um, starting a CN machine, CNC machine. We'll walk through these various things here. And then the second thing, we'll talk about the control for setup and operation. And we'll have um, um, a lot of different visuals to help give you a perspective of what that is like. So let's go ahead and um, focus on the, the first one here and get some information about the, um, the startup and stuff like that. So which CNC controls? Control, our, our planning group wrestles with its decision for some time. Do you use the most popular, the fast, latest, um, the least expensive and found in training or a favorite control? Finally, um, we invented our own general control that had the five universal function needed to learn CNC operation. So that's what we're seeing here is just a notional tool. Um, it's, this is a panel for a lathe. It was, um, if it was for a mill, it would have a manual change, tool change and a draw bar control as well. It's not here, so but, but it has these, these different kinds of functions and we'll be going through them um, one at a time. So for starting a CNC machine before powering on, there are a few checks to be made. Not all machines need all of them, but they all need some. You need to be checking your air pressure, your fluid levels, both your oil and your coolant, and your hydraulic pressure and oil levels related to your hydraulics. So the difference in initialization, when powering on a machine, the controller goes through a, a routine called initialization. It's not unlike a device with an operating system that first loads the, the BIOS and, then it stages the operating system, and then it um, starts other functions such as pumps and motors. So after initial, initializing, older machines may need to be driven to a home position to set um, access registers to zero, and that's called homing the machine. So in general, newer machines don't need to be homed when initially turned on. They, they know from the get-go where their access and tools are located. If the machine does not require homing, then there are some big differences in how they must be driven up to the, the limit switch. switches. Be sure to read about them in the text and ask about your machine's procedure. And finally, again, depending on the machine and how it goes to home, one can cause a problem called over-traveled by driving towards and beyond the soft limits onto the hard limits. And so that is a caution you want to be aware of. There's always, you want to have an emergency stop mechanism. And so before taking any action, before initializing the, the step order of a, a business is to find the emergency stop button. They will be red. There are probably two as one uh, as on our control, the big red and the little one. If, if it's, a, it's a big machine, there may be one at the far end too. The, the big one is for all out emergency. It is the largest, most prominent button on the control. Look again at the example as you as you do. Notice that there's another small, um, another red button that's much smaller. So here we see um, a big emergency button here. And here we can see a lot smaller um, button that would be say, you just need to, to do something, but it's not an emergency. The, the way that you would be doing if um, you had something that was um, more traumatic. So, um, for feed or slide hold, most CNC controllers, but not all of them also feature the second red halt button. This one shuts everything down. And sometimes that has consequences on a machine by machine basis. The slide hold button halts progress by but by pushing the green button on the hold button a second time, the machine starts back into motion. So it's a pause mechanism that you have that's uh, available. For three vital position screens, um, um, position displays, first for screens, there are three important position displays on lays and mills that you must know for setting up, trying a program and operating a CM machine. The machine coordinates page, the distance to go, DTG, and the work coordinates. So for trade tips, 
Um, modern controls often allow more than one set of coordinates to be displayed on a single screen. For setup, choose machine coordinates and DTG screens. For program tryout and program runs, choose work coord and DT DTG screens. To simplify setup and operation, learn these definitions well. You'll use different data for, for different tasks. Um, okay, I'm going to pause it there and I'll um, start this video in just a minute just to break this up some. <laughs> 